Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a complicated selection within Affinity Photo for iPad. So I have my line up on the screen here. This is from Adobe Stock. I'm just going to make sure I'm within the selections persona and I'm going to choose my smart selections tool. And I'm just going to do a generic brush around, like I'm just going to brush within inside, like all of the line, making sure I get most of what I need. You'll notice it hasn't quite selected the fur on the outside, so I'm going to refine this. So to be able to refine this, after, you know, I just sub subtract a little bit there and just add, oh, I went over a bit too much. There we go. That'll do for now. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to refine it. If we press refine in the bottom right hand corner, make sure it's set to overlay, matte, and I'm going to make a new layer with a mask. This is just the preferred way I like to work. And I'm going to make my brush a tiny bit smaller. And I'm just going to draw over all the white spots that you can see, as well as the edges of the fur. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so that Affinity reads the edges of the fur and the white patches and changes the selection to suit. So as you can see, I'm just going over just to fine tune this. And it's already coming up quite nice. So I'm just going to go slowly around, just doing little selections at a time, because as you can see, it takes up a lot of processing power and it needs time to actually work through that selection. It's quite a clever little tool. And it is great, you know, for stuff like this. For generic selections, I will always prefer the pen tool, but that is just a personal preference. It's not a case of that's what's better for the job because in this case, it's really not. And it would take me hours to draw around each tiny bit of fur here. So I'm just going over this side and just releasing the pen, pressing down, drawing over and releasing again. We can still see some little fine white lines around. Obviously, if you've got a lot more time, you can come in and spend a bit more with this. But this is looking great so far. Just drawing in some extra little spaces. How cool does this look? Obviously, the more time you spend on it, the more refined it will be. But this is just a quick preview to show you what you can achieve in a few minutes, if that even. So I've applied that selection and you can see it's created a mask. I'm just going to come up to my layers channel, fill a new layer. And as you can see, it is filled behind that line perfectly. So I could drop any image in here. I'm just going through the color wheel just to see what it looks like. But as you can see, I'm pretty happy with that selection just for a very quick and complicated selection. It has turned out brilliant. So if you can, definitely have a go at this. It will help you so much with your photo manipulation work. So there we have it. See you all next time.